All right, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope y'all is having a good day. It's going to be a little bit of uh, rambling, a little bit of uh, talking about picking, because I don't know why I was... <laughs> well, so I've always wanted to be able to play without a pick, because I just think it's a lot more versatile. And uh, there are some songs, a uh, real easy one. Um, I can't sing it because I'm not Stevie Nicks, but, uh, and I can't play it as well, but... but um, the, the song Landslide, there's a capo here on the second fret, but it start, just starts with a, a C, C, C uh, shape and uh, just kind of, it, it, it's a C minor or something, I don't, C minor 7, something like that. Um, and then, and uh, A7, uh, but it, it's just, it, it's all basically here. So... helps that the capo is right and everything's in tune. I'm screwing that up, but you get the idea. Um, and one of the people that uh, I looked to when I first started trying to figure out how to even start um, finger picking, Mark Knopfler. Love Mark Knopfler. And Mark Knopfler, um, the song, of course, that I picked to try, try he uses a pick on, of course. And it's uh, Man's Too Big, The Man's Too Strong. Something wrong here. Uh, you know, fun picking stuff, and uh, I thought that Knopfler always played without a pick, but apparently he does pick up a pick. And if you listen to him talk, it's just the only reason he doesn't play with a pick is because he was lazy. I mean, he learned out, you know, he got lazy trying to find picks every time he dropped them and every time he lost them. And and y'all know what I'm talking about, so that that's why he say he said he learned how to play without one. It was more being lazy and convenience. So yeah, I just wanted to... <clears throat> nah, actually, I just wanted to... Uh, let y'all know that I won't be here tomorrow because I got all my scans and stuff. And yeah, I'm terrified and all that other good stuff. But uh, I'm doing way better than I have in the last scans. So um, I know right now the biggest fear is the the needle. Or two of them actually, because they're gonna. They they uh, I asked, hey, would I would it be okay for me to get a booster? Do you think it's all right? Blah blah blah. You know, I was just asking a question. They came back. We scheduled your first shot. Uh, okay. So um, I just guess I'm getting a booster shot afterwards too. They got a you know, my chest for blood draw and for the contrast and all that stuff um, for the scans. And um, then I get a booster after that. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be a day of uh, terrifying for me because it's needles and I can't stand them. Um, but, yeah, hopefully uh, everything will. Well, uh, I feel better. Um, it's going to be argument with the, the doctor because I know no matter what the scans turn out to be, she's going to say, you still need surgery no matter what. Um, so uh, it just, it's, I think I got to determine 
just like they do. You know, what are the odds? Because to me, the mainstream medical is gambling because all they do is, well, the odds of that aren't, well, the odds of that aren't, well, the odds of that. So you know what? To me, they're gambling. Guess I got to go as well. And I, to me, that uh, that's not science. That's uh, gambling. Um, so, uh, but I do need the scans to find out where we're at. And I need to find out what the rate of growth is, if there even is one anymore. So uh, that's what we're going to find out tomorrow. And, you know, just like uh, different picking styles, you know, when I find out the information, I'll go with the, the style that I need for the best outcome, which is what uh, mainstream medical does. So that's why I say mainstream medical is not, uh, they're, they're not here to help you. They're here to fix you after the fact and they go with odds. So to me, it's gambling. Anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you all is having a good day. Please, uh, if you see this and uh, you can wish me luck, maybe send a little prayer or something. Um, I need all the help I can get. Uh, and yeah, man, thanks. And always look up. Have a good day. I'll uh, see you in a couple of days, I hope. Well, I'll definitely see you in a little while, but I just don't know when. So y'all have a good one. Always look up. Peace.